my rig version 4.0 is finally here now when you when you open it up it looks a lot different since this whole side panel is gone and I agreed with this little small panel above Steve it's actually a pretty handy panel it keeps things a lot like cl less cl clutter free see you can remove you can hide some bones you can hide the eyebrows you can hide the new eyelid bones that I'll get to in a second same with the bottom now, um, if you want this, you can, I can switch it on and off. It's going to be off by default though. And also, you see, it's pretty laggy. That's because this is like how it's supposed to look in the render. But, you can also now, this is the biggest feature of this version. You can turn off the face and it'll be like perfectly UV mapped. I know that right there. It's not gonna show up in the render. It'll be perfectly UV, map UV mapped, so it's like it'll seem like it'll be as if there wasn't a face at all. So that makes it a lot less laggy. And then you turn off the bevels in real time. This is render. This is real time, and it's like pretty much no lag. Let me turn the face back on. Sometimes it second, takes a second to update. I think there's a bug with Blender. See? There. The face and the mouth pretty similar. Didn't she make any changes except for that. You can look like, really wide now. If you want. Smile, frown. I've organized this side panel a lot more. This is for the hat layer, which Steve doesn't have a hat, so he can't see it. This is, see, you see how this is like that? Now I can just copy the rotation. Really hand, handy for a lot of stuff. Oops. Three D hair. Pretty nice feature. And teeth, bite, move the mouth. So now a pretty cool feature that I added is that you can change the depth of the eye, the eyes, the, uh, the pupils, and the mouth. It's a lattice body deformer, so it's like stronger people. This is feminine. This is fat. You can see so you can turn off IK. See? Turn off IK. Use FA. And also a pretty cool feature, well not a feature, more like a fix, is that IK works pretty much perfectly now, before it would, before it would be pretty weird, the IK, but now the elbow follows the pole perfectly. Same thing with the legs. So no more problems with IK anymore. Pretty nice feature is that it works e perfectly with both internal and cycles, the materials that is, so you don't have to waste time converting the materials. A person like, not game, so a person like cycles better, and I add some reflections to the eyes and the eye pupils, see, because it's pretty, pretty nice reflections, because it doesn't add that as much render time as it is as it would if you added reflections to internal. And this looks a lot better to me than internal. But internal, you can see the textures in the viewport without having to change to texture material, which is a plus on Blender. 
and internal. Now let me show you how to change skins. Oh god. Turn face off. I want to change it to my skin. Oops. Oh god. Oh, and the hair has a different texture just in case the te you want Steve's hair or a different person's hair than the, act the skin of the player. See, it the uh, UV. There's nothing wrong with the UV map. Works perfectly. The funny thing, it works by just closing the eyelids and disabling the mouth, and also hiding. Oh, sweet. Yeah. See, blender's lagging. I don't know. Bug. Looks perfect. You can also detach the legs and arms if you want. I completely changed the weight range on the body once again, which is like, I'm doing that every single update now. Oh, it looks a lot better than before, again. Oh yeah, and do not use 1.8 skins for this rig, since it's easier to cut down a skin at 1.8 then add 64 pixels or 32 pixels to the bottom to make it a 1.8 rig skin see this unless you want if you want to give him hair works I don't even know what's happening there yeah it works I even what? I'll probably fix that later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you want to make... I finally moved the origin to where it's supposed to be. So scaling is much easier. If you want... Wait, uh... Yeah. If you want to make him exactly two blocks tall you type an s then 0 0.625 and now make him exactly two blender units tall which is um and if your blocks in your scene are one blender unit Oh yeah, and uh, also a cool feature is that you don't have to like go to the trouble of selecting, trying and select. So you can hide the head there. Uh, trying to select uh, those eyes and then change material. You can just select this and change the color. If you want to change the color, since it goes to the eyebrows. And the black mouth over there you can see. In case you want to make him look crazy like this, you can do that. Yeah, I almost forgot the the eyes. One of the most requested feature. Let me change the skin back. It's pretty annoying. There. One of the most requested features on previous versions were two pixel eyes, which is finally here as well as better eyes you can move these and now on you can unhide these like make can do that if you want move the eyes and the scale to change that I 
never seen this problem. It's not a cycle, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a problem with the internal. I'll fix that for the download. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fix that for the download. Oh god. You can scale these. Yeah, that's something we definitely have to fix. Oh, I'm seeing short run cycles. With those demonic eyes. That's pretty scary. And just in, just in case the rig is ever like pink as it would be if I did this. If it was ever pink like this, that means this skin is missing. So you just gotta don't do that. I uh, gotta press a place image. Like basically just change the skin. So, download, like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoyed, and have a happy 2016. Yeah.